Auto Reverse is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Auto, auto, auto reverse. And welcome back to Autoverse, the show where we do a deep dive into hip hop's most influential mixtapes. I'm your host, TJ Ryan Fresh, and it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but there was one that I meant to do in the previous season that I just kind of let slide by. Today's mixtape isn't a mixtape per se, but is a live recording of two of the world's greatest DJs. There's often a stigma with live recordings that kind of sours them with fans. For DJ culture, that's never been the case. Be it turntablism, house, or drum and bass, it thrives on the live experience. The lighting, the massive sound systems, and in the case of 90s and 2000s turntablism, there was the feeling of improvisation. It'll happen just this one time, which is why everybody was always trying to get footage. Such is the case for today's episode of Auto Reverse, live at the Future Primitive Sound Session with Cut Chemist and Shortcut. I got the cassette tape for this live performance at the now defunct Orpheum Records. The store had a selection of mixtapes, a variety of both local and nationally recognized DJs. It was a place that was an even playing field. It's where I got my first Con Men mixtape and where the future Primitive Sound Session caught my eye. Packaged in a cardboard case and printed on a clear tape with the design screen on the cassette, it was nothing I'd ever seen before. Clocking it out at around 70 minutes, Live at the Future Primitive Sound Session is easily one of the most interesting time capsules in live DJing at the turn of the century. On the one hand, you can listen to it as an artifact of skillful turntabling, the song selection, the scratches, the flow of the hour plus of non-stop DJing is nothing short of amazing. On the other hand, you can also imagine the communal excitement for this live performance. In music and cultural terms, this is our James Brown Live at the Apollo. There's something inherently fascinating about mixing, pardon the puns, Cut Chemist Mad Scientist's approach to production and DJing with Shortcut's naturally funky and precise style. It was very much calculated, yet organic. Something that I remembered on the original J card of the cassette is largely implicit on its CD counterpart. All effects and mixes were unrehearsed and improvised on five turntables by the Cut Chemist and Shortcut. The audience was unintentionally recorded through the turntable styluses. That latter part you can hear throughout the recording. The fact that they went into this performance unplanned is nothing short of amazing, according to Shortcut Over Messenger. It was all improv. We talked five minutes before we went on about what we had to play. We never played together prior to that night. The promoter, Mark Harrelly, blindly linked two DJs who never played together for that night. Future Primitive as a concept would soldier on with more live recordings appearing in stores. And like the New York Park bootlegs before them, these would serve as an audio artifact of a cultural shift. San Francisco had a thriving underground hip hop turntablist scene from the mid to late 90s to the mid 2000s. Mark Harrelly's Future Primitive and Money Shot Parties were crucial elements in the origin and development of that scene. They were also a ton of fun as I learned firsthand. I feel lucky to have lived through it to have heard the music loud in spaces full of life and diversity, and to have experienced the warmth and enthusiasm of those who participated in it and contributed their vigor, friendly rivalry, and admirable ambition. We may not see an era of that kind again in our lifetime, but we can always listen to releases like the one reviewed below to be reminded of how great it was. The live recording made such an impact that the duo reunited in October 2017 to celebrate its 20th anniversary. 25 years removed, DJing, for better or worse, is mired in technology, and we're seeing some pretty amazing examples at events such as the Red Bull 3 Style and Atrax Goldie Awards. But in Cut Chemist and Shortcut's Future Primitive Sound Session, we see the beginnings of all that, all analog and all imagination. And in a way, it still sounds like it's 25 years ahead of its time. And that's it for today's episode of Auto Reverse. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Life happens and time seems to get away from me, but I'm still trying to do one of these videos every now and then and still trying to like do some cool stuff for the channel, which reminds me, feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like. If there's any more mixtapes that I should cover, if there's any aspects of turntabling I should cover, comment below. Once again, I have a pretty robust DJing schedule and you can keep abreast of all that and my goings on 
here at my site or follow me at any one of these social platforms. That's all I have for today. Piece of shortcut for answering some of my inane questions. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate you and Cut Chemist and this very awesome recording that still lives on to this day. Check y'all later and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.